Dawn breaks over the 14th century, casting light on a period of intense cultural awakening, the Renaissance, a time when the human spirit soared, reaching for the stars, unshackled from the chains of ignorance and superstition that had held it captive during the Dark Ages. This was an era that celebrated the potential of the human mind, a period of rebirth, a renaissance, that placed the individual at the heart of all endeavors. It was a time when art and science, once considered opposing forces, began to intertwine, feeding off each other in a symbiotic dance of discovery and creation. Europe was ablaze with curiosity and exploration, both of the natural world and the human condition. Ideas flowed like rivers, carving out new landscapes of thought and possibility. And in this fertile ground of intellectual and creative revolution, extraordinary individuals began to emerge, polymaths, who would shape the course of history. In the heart of this cultural revolution, in a small Italian town, a genius was born, Leonardo da Vinci. Born in 1452 in Vinci, Italy, Leonardo's journey towards becoming a polymath began early. A curious child, he was captivated by the world around him, showing an early interest in both art and science. These twin passions would shape his extraordinary life. At 14, Leonardo began an apprenticeship with the renowned artist Andrea del Verrocchio in Florence, where he honed his artistic skills while his scientific curiosity flourished. Leonardo's insatiable curiosity and diverse interests were the foundation of his genius. While celebrated for his art, Leonardo's scientific explorations were equally revolutionary. This Renaissance man was not bound by disciplines. He delved into the world of science with as much fervor as he did art. His studies spanned a wide range of fields, from anatomy to architecture, mechanics to physics. In anatomy, Leonardo's sketches were incredibly detailed and accurate, providing valuable insights into the human body. His studies of the human heart, in particular, were so precise that they could rival modern medical illustrations. Turning to mechanics, he made significant contributions to understanding the principles of friction and the transmission of force. His theoretical understanding of these concepts was far ahead of his time. In the realm of physics, he explored the nature of light and shadow, which greatly influenced his art. In architecture, he designed buildings and even entire cities, demonstrating his grand vision. His scientific curiosity not only fueled his art, but also led to visionary inventions. Leonardo's brush danced on canvas, creating immortal masterpieces. Two of his most iconic works are The Last Supper and Mona Lisa. The Last Supper, a grand mural, captures a pinnacle moment in Christian narrative. Leonardo's skillful use of perspective and symbolism, his attention to detail, and the emotional intensity he imparts to each disciple make this painting a timeless masterpiece. Then there's the Mona Lisa, a portrait shrouded in enigma. Her elusive smile, the ambiguity of her gaze, and the atmospheric illusionism in the painting have sparked endless debates and theories. The Mona Lisa's allure lies in Leonardo's innovative sfumato technique, which creates soft transitions between colors and tones, adding a lifelike quality and depth to the portrait. These works are not merely paintings, they are windows into Leonardo's mind, his fascination with human emotion, his scientific curiosity, and his relentless pursuit of perfection. Leonardo's art continues to captivate, inspire, and mystify us centuries later. Leonardo da Vinci, the artist, the scientist, and the inventor. His mind was a swirling vortex of ideas that stretched the boundaries of what was thought possible. He sketched concepts for machines that were light years ahead of his time. Picture this, a 15th century man designing a bicycle, a contraption that wouldn't be realized for another 400 years. Imagine him conceptualizing a helicopter, a machine that would only take to the skies in the early 20th century. And then there was the submarine, a device that would not submerge until centuries after his death. These were not just idle daydreams, but detailed designs, carefully thought out and meticulously documented. His visionary inventions were a testament to his extraordinary mind, a mind that saw the future and dared to reach for it. Leonardo da Vinci, a man centuries ahead of his time, envisioned a future we are still striving to achieve. The echoes of Leonardo's genius resonate through the corridors of time. This polymath's influence extends far beyond his lifetime, shaping the work of subsequent artists, scientists, and inventors. The ripple effect of his ideas continues to inspire and provoke thought, even centuries later. His detailed anatomical sketches, remarkable in their accuracy, pushed the boundaries of medical knowledge of his time. These studies, often hidden within the pages of his notebooks, are testament not only to his artistic skill, but also his scientific curiosity. The intricate depictions of the human body were groundbreaking providing a foundation for modern medical illustration and understanding. 
Then there's the Vitruvian Man, a drawing that captures the essence of da Vinci's genius. A fusion of art and science, it symbolizes human proportion and harmony. It's a testament to Leonardo's belief in the interconnectedness of nature and humanity, a concept that continues to influence thinkers today. What's more, his influence is not confined to the realms of art and science. His conceptual visions of machines from the bicycle to the helicopter have left indelible marks on our technological landscape. He was a visionary, a man ahead of his time, whose ideas still form the backbone of many modern inventions. Leonardo da Vinci, a legacy of genius, innovation, and inspiration, forever etched in the annals of human history.